What's going on guys, Sahaman back and today we're going to be taking a look at the rest of the figures that I need to complete the Build-A-Figure Mr. Freeze. We're taking a look at Batman and Robin, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batgirl on the left, Poison Ivy on the right, and I got these from GameStop. So that's where I, that's basically where I got all of these from, was from GameStop, except for Robin and Batman. Those are available at Entertainment Earth. Link in the description down below. But these two I did get from GameStop, and I'm happy to have these. I mean, in the box, these look fantastic. I've been happy with the Batman and Robin so far. The real big you know, the big test on this is how good is the Build-A-Figure. So the Build-A-Figure is going to be tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that. But today we're taking a look at Poison Ivy and Batgirl, played by Alicia Silverstone and Uma Thurman. So you got your standard DC multiverse Batman and Robin packaging. Got the instructions in the back on how to put the pieces together. There's all the figures from the wave. And then the side, Batgirl, Batman and Robin. And then on this one over here, it's pretty much the same thing. And let me tell you, this looks just like Uma Thurman. They did it. McFarlane did a great job on the head sculpt here. Poison Ivy, and then there's the back. So let's waste no more time. Let's open these bad boys up, bad girls up, and let's see if these are going to be a pickup or a pass. All right, guys, we are going to take a look at with everything that comes in both figures sets. So for Batgirl, you do get a Batgirl card, collectible card, which is awesome. Again, I love that they're giving us the character poster card. So it's actually a collage poster but either way bio in the back you also get your standard circular dc multiverse base and then batgirl does come with mr freeze is freeze gun right here what you can see we'll get into all that later he also comes with shoulder pads she also comes with shoulder pads and then she also comes with the arnold schwarzenegger head sculpt which looks pretty damn good so there's a head sculpt and now for poison ivy she comes with her character card with the bio in the back. Beautiful right there. Standard, circulized, DC multiverse base. And you also get the torso of the lower body also of Mr. Freeze. So the next video, guys, we're going to be putting Mr. Freeze together. So let's go ahead and start off with Alicia Silverstone. We have Batgirl here. And you are? Batgirl. Now, if you guys remember the movie, they did change it up. This is actually... She's related to Alfred, and she's not Barbara Gordon's daughter. So, Or, I'm sorry, Commissioner Gordon's daughter. So that kind of was a change in the film. But, I mean, looking at her likeness, looking at this, it doesn't really look like Alicia Silverstone, but it still is a great head sculpt. She's got, like, two different colors in the hair. And then the mask is sculpted really well. The lipstick looks great. This is a great head sculpt. just doesn't look 100% like Alicia Silverstone. The hair looks great. The sculpting on the hair is very nice. The cape is really good. And that's one thing I'm, I really like about this wave with the capes that they've been giving all the characters. Like this actually looks like a leathery cape. This looks really, really good. And then same thing with the underside. Now Batgirl's outfit, you can see she does have a emblem right there on her utility belt. And then does she have an emblem in the breast? Yes, she does. Right up here, you can see it. it let me put that her hair up. She has a M Batgirl emblem. It's sculpted there. There's the abdomen area, the arms, and then she does have gauntlets as well. And they gave her closed uh, closed fist for both hands. Again, one thing I've said before is that these are just lacking interchangeable hands. So she's got the closed fists, and then here's the back side of her, and then you have her. Boots, so these ones go all the way up to the thigh, thigh-high boots, and they have the emblems on the upper thigh, and you come to the bottom, you can see the stilettos, her boots, which look really cool. Now, again, if you look closely at this, it's, it, the suit itself does have some really great detailing on it. See if I can get that to, to focus a bit. See, you can see she's got some really nice texturing in, in the suit. So there's the bottom, and then the stilettos, she does have peg holes. And you're pretty much going to get your standard DC multiverse articulation. The head sculpt does rotate. Also, her head, head sculpt goes up and down. Arms go in and out, forward and back. Upper arm swivel. Double-jointed bicep. The hand rotates, also has a hinge. She's got two points of articulation in the waist. And then she also has an ab crunch. It's pretty good range of motion. Legs go in and out forward and back double jointed at the knees and then the whole ankle pivot with the toe articulation so as far as back roll goes 
This is a great figure. The cape is really, really nice on this. I mean, look at that. Again, it looks like it's a real leather cape. The only thing is that the likeness is not really Alicia Silverstone, but it's still a great head sculpt. So there's Batgirl. Let's go ahead and bring out Poison Ivy. I'll bring everything you see here, plus everything you don't. This right here is a great head sculpt. Now, they gave her like a little, I don't know if it's just a paint defect on mine. She's got like a little color like on the nose. You see that? Like, I don't know what color. It's like orangey, tan. But it does look like Alicia, I'm not Alicia Silverstone. It looks like Uma Thurman. If we were to bring out her card right here, I mean, come on. Look at that. That looks like her. That is great. And then the outfit looks fantastic. I mean, the dress looks like it's all, it's not a dress, but her outfit just looks like it's leaves all over it. And it's all sculpted. It looks fantastic. She's got some really long reddish hair it's going all the way down, sculpted really nice. When you see this in person, it's, it looks really good. And then she's got flowers on the hair or leaves on the hair. And then for her eyelashes right here, she's got like some leaves too. And even on her earrings, she's got some leaves. And you come to the arms and she also has some leaves here and then she's wearing green there. She's got a green ring as well, a couple of them. And then right here in her palm, she has that little little leaf there where she blows to, to Robin to try to put her under a spell. This is to Mr. Freeze too. And then she also has a, uh, like a sleeve here too on this side. It's got leaves on the, on the top of the hand and then she's got some rings too. She's, she has like a trigger finger, but she does come with no weapons. And then right here at the bottom, she's got her green leggings. And there is detailing on those as well. You can see she does have some some like leaves sculpted on there or some vines. And then she's got like a dark green, almost black. Hopefully you guys can see that, like boots too. See that? That looks really good. She's She looks fantastic. She came out really, really good. And then she also has pretty much the same articulation because she's got, she's way more flexible though in the upper torso and then the head rotates. I mean, this looks really good. Look at this right here. I mean, the the uh, the upper part of her, like the collarbone, the breast area, looks really nice until you open this up and you see that that gaps there. I don't like that, but the hair does cover that. And this, she just came out fantastic. This is very very gorgeous. You're about to become compost. Yeah. There you go, guys. There's my quick little review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman and Robin, Poison Ivy, and Batgirl. These figures are great. Now, the gripes I have that I do with a lot of McFarlane figures is, one, figures can't stand great. Two, you put the figures on the circular base, and it's always lopsided on one side. I hate that. It's like, why is it so hard to get a figure to stand and just sit perfectly on a base? That's the gripes I have on this. Other than the M+, plus, maybe some a few accessories for the characters other than the Build-A-Figure pieces. But these are great. Poison Ivy looks fantastic. Batgirl looks great. And the suits look awesome. And again, with the Batman and Robin and Batman Forever lines that are going to be coming out for Batman Forever, they can give us so many different variations of each character. So I really hope down the line, McFarlane does give us variations of these. There's, Poison Ivy wears so many different costumes in this film Batgirl I mean she becomes Bat Batgirl at the end of the film already has two costumes and a bat cycle and her own weapons which is pretty insane but give us that McFarlane please McFarlane please give us that in the comments down below what you guys think about these figures is it a pickup is it a pass are you guys excited for this do these figures look great to you let me know in the comments down below also stay tuned for tomorrow's video we're gonna put together mr freeze thank you guys for watching i appreciate every one of you thumbs up the video guys we will see you soon thanks for watching come join me my garden needs tending chicks like you give women a bad name